These passengers at Charlotte Douglas International Airport may not know it, but they're riding on a new kind of bus. This hybrid electric bus runs on a motor powered by batteries. The batteries get their charge from a plug-in outlet and an onboard fuel power generator. The design line bus has only half the moving parts of a typical diesel powered bus. Just from a cost standpoint and an emission standpoint and overall operating uh, and maintenance standpoint, to get away from oil is a good thing. Don Macarius is vice president of Design Line, maker of these hybrid electric buses that emit 40% less carbon than traditional vehicles. We don't have transmission, we don't have a traditional engine, everything's electric. Macarius says reduced maintenance costs help offset the higher price tag of the company's hybrid electric bus. Design Line is part of an expanding hybrid market in North Carolina. In 2008 and 2009, North Carolinians bought more than 12,000 hybrid cars. But to increase that number, scientists at the Advanced Transportation Energy Center at North Carolina State are working on new battery technologies. So it just plugs in like a regular 110 volt outlet. Ewan Pritchard leads that effort. We need to develop batteries that have both power and energy. Power is the ability to accelerate and go to a top speed. Uh, energy is the ability to go 30 miles, 100 miles, 200, 500 miles on a charge, on a single charge. All that potential power sits in batteries. In this project here, what we're doing is we're taking these types of batteries, which are actually called ultra capacitors. They're not even batteries. And what they do is they store uh, energy or they store power and they can get rid of that power very quickly and allow you to accelerate very quickly. But researchers like Pritchard say consumers won't adopt electric vehicles until they can charge them reliably and easily. Most studies show that the average commuter vehicle sits at somebody's house over 90 percent of the time. You just need a charger in your garage. Before electric power can charge thousands of vehicles, scientists have to develop ways to provide electricity when we need it and where we need it. Engineers at power companies are thinking about the type of infrastructure to do that. Duke Energy spokesperson Jason Walls. Now, the infrastructure isn't there yet, but the, but the discussions across the Carolinas and really across the country are now starting about what is needed to build out that infrastructure so people can take advantage um, of, the, of you know, the electric cars or the plug-in hybrid vehicles that are now making their way into the market. But before you'll see a competitively priced hybrid electric car, scientists need to develop a cheaper high-tech battery. This lithium-ion battery, which Pritchard's team added to a Toyota Prius, cost $10,000. It's expensive. Um, the price of these battery packs is coming down very dramatically, very quickly. Uh, but right now, it's, it's a challenge to get a good payback from this, this installation. Add to that the fear electric batteries won't take us as far as we want to go what some call range anxiety. Across campus from Pritchard's lab, NC State engineering students are working on a hybrid electric car that can go up to 400 miles on a single charge. That's possible because of a diesel power generator that recharges the car as it goes. You still got the reservoirs, right? So we got all these wires here, we got to... These students are competing in the Eco Car Challenge against 15 other universities across the country. The goal? Redesign a General Motors vehicle to be more fuel efficient and emit less pollution while still having the usual gadgets and accessories. Graduate student Ali Siam leads the effort. Up front here we have a front wheel drive electric motor, 148 horsepower. Um, it's really simple when the driver turns the key to the car. The batteries in the very back of the vehicle um, provide electricity to the electric motor through the orange wires. Um, the electric motor then provides the power to the front wheel, so very simple concept in propulsion, 100% electric. A lithium-ion battery provides up to 363 volts to power the motor. Siam says he didn't always think hybrid electric vehicles could make the grade. Before I did this project, I was like those folks, those consumers that thought electric vehicles are sluggish and slow. Electric motors, they're very powerful, 
the car drives just as good as a normal car, and it's quiet. It sounds from the future. It's actually a very awesome thing to drive. Siam and other researchers say they hope better technologies, like the ones under development at NC State, will lead to more hybrid electric vehicles on the road in the near future.